with Kathy by Design for the Button Farm Club. And I am so excited to share my June card kit reveal with you. Um, this month, we're going to the sunny shores of Spain. We're using Stamperia's gorgeous Casa Granada paper collection. Honestly, this, it's just so beautiful. The colors, the images, we're going to get this 12 by 12 patterns pad, which just has all these wonderful, intricate patterns. They're going to make great backdrops and layers for our cards. I'll give you a peek at all of these. They are so beautiful. Then to go with that, you're going to get the 8 by 8 patterned paper. And this is just so perfect for summer with the roses and the sunny kitchens, teacups and plates, um, just all these beautiful tiles. I just love this collection. It is so, it's just homey feeling. It's just beautiful. Look at these pomegranates and, and blossoms, so pretty. It's gorgeous floral, beautiful teapot, this fun calendar page. And then um, some sweet tags and then a bunch of fussy cuts. So here in the front and then sentiments here. So that's fun. And then in addition, we're going to get one 12 by 12 sheet of the cards. These are double sided and so beautiful. And we're going to get one 12 by 12 sheet of the tags. I love these. I have such a fun idea for these. I, I can't wait to share with you. Then for matting and mechanisms, we're going to get three sheets of this beautiful color matched Echo Park cardstock. So that's really going to be fun. Then we're going to get six sheets of 12 by 12 natural cardstock to use to build our bases and an additional four sheets of 12 by 12 natural card stock for more fun. So that's the basics right there. And then the fun stuff that we get to add in, this is this kit is loaded. I don't know how Laura pulled this off. We're gonna get this Casa Granada die cuts. Let me show you these. They are so beautiful. Look at all these wonderful images, just fantastic and these are going to add so much to our cards we're also going to make a little folio because y'all have told me you really like doing that in these kits so look at all of these i mean it's just loaded how many is it um i think it tells somewhere 36 pieces so that's amazing then to go with this wonderful old world feel we've got these beautiful wooden buttons we have six of those, and you knew we had to have a teacup and a teapot somewhere, didn't you? And then these beautiful flowers. We're going to get two slimline shaker window envelopes and a custom mixed um, batch of colored sequins to go and in there. And then we have 10 yards of this beautiful copper mist crochet thread. This is going to tie the sweetest little bows um, and it's just a really good color match for the collection. As always, you'll get the full color printed basic guide that gives you detailed photos and um, basic written instructions and measurements and then links to the private video tutorial. So this kit delicious. I can't wait to dig into it. I'll be back in a few minutes to show you what we're making. All right, let's see what we make with this amazing kit. We start off with two of these gorgeous slimline shaker cards. These are so pretty. And on the inside, it's so much more than just a card. This is really more like a folio. We've got a little kinetic waterfall flap page. We've got a little hidden pocket, these cute little inserts. Then this flips out. Here's room to add photos or journaling. Here's a little sentiment. And this little pocket is actually a little accordion fold folio. So you can tuck gift cards in here. 
You can add photos. This makes a beautiful, beautiful gift. So there's one and then there's two. And I love the sort of European kitchen feel of this collection. It's just delightful to work with. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. And then our little inserts, tags, it's our flip page sentiment. And again, another little accordion tag page. So really fun. Then the next thing we do, this is kind of a fun, now you don't get what's inside this. This is just to give you an idea. But this is our beautiful box pocket card. This is a perfect size for holding a notepad and a pen, which makes such a great gift. If you don't want to do that in the box pocket, you could add tea bags, you could add tea and honey sticks, you can add photos. Um, this could be just a little photo wallet, but it's a beautiful size and it's this pomegranate image is just gorgeous. So that's the next thing we make. Then, you know, I always have to put in a pop-up card. So here's a little five by seven with a little W fold on the inside. So this is just another really sweet little card. And of course you can always write your message on the back. Then, because I love cutaway cards, we've made this beautiful cutaway card. This has a little sneaky pocket right here where you can tuck in a gift card, then a little tag pocket, and then a little sentiment over here on the side. So such a sweet card. And these are all very easy to mail, which I know you guys had said that was important to you. Then we're gonna make some really fun belly band double gatefold cards. These are so pretty set out on display because they stand up on their own. And then we make a little bookmark to go inside each one. And of course you can slip a gift card into that pocket as well. And here's the other one. Just these images are so beautiful. And these patterned papers, it's got a really great old world feel. Then the next thing we're gonna make are these two um, loaded, front loaded pocket cards. These are fun, fun, fun. So we're gonna use our images to make our pocket. And then look inside, we've got tags. We've got a little note card. We've got another little wee tag. And then we've got this itty bitty, this is so cute, itty bitty tag folio. So sweet. And this is tied with our twine. So there's this one and then there's this one. Same thing, all loaded up with goodies inside. And then on the inside, these are completely finished and you've got a sentiment panel, room for a photo here. So these are great cards. Then we have enough left to make a really terrific six by six flip folio. This turned out so good. I'm so pleased. We've got our little teapot and teacup charm on the spine. And then we have another belly band with all this wonderful collaged chipboard on the front. Here's the cover with our rose tea time. This opens out like this. This page pulls out to give you the full reveal of these beautiful cups and plates. I know a lot of people love Stamparia, but they struggle with knowing what to do with all of the large image pages. So I like to show ways to do that. Then here we've got a pullout page. Here's a great spot for journaling. And here we've got room for photos. And then in this pocket, we actually have another little folio. This has those great little calendar pages in it, as well as a little tag and a pretty little image. So this lives in this pocket on the front. And this whole thing tucks into a hidden pocket back behind. Isn't this a great design? I really like this one. Then over here, we've got another little flap page with room for lots of photos. I thought of this using this as a simple recipe album. This would be a great little gift. This little string unties, and then this is another little flip element. So this has three pages with a pocket that I put a little note card and a tag and a little flower basket in. So that is that, and then it just is held with this beautiful copper mist crochet thread. This is such a pretty color, I really like it. 
So that is it, guys. And you have a fair amount of material left over. So if you want to go back and you want to add more stuff to your folio or you want to add more decorations to your cards or you want to make an extra little folio, you're going to have a lot of extra material left. Not cardstock. We use every snitch of the cardstock. But you have a lot of the pretty patterned papers left. So fun, fun card kit this quarter. I think you're going to really love it. It'll be like taking a vacation in the European countryside. So that's it, guys. You can order yours at Button Farm Club. If you're subscribed to my quarterly card kit, this is your kit, so you don't have to order. If you're not subscribed, we do always add a few extra kits just in case. So you can, if they're still there, you can go ahead and order. I'll put the link in the description box below. And I'm excited about this one, guys. Go get your craft on. Bye.